Hey, what's up you guys? Sharkness Prime here, doing another Marvel Legends action figure review on the Walmart exclusive Marvel Legends Compound Hulk. If you're trying to pick this up, you can do so at Walmart. I just said it's a Walmart exclusive, but if you're trying to get your other Marvel Legends, you can do so at... Search your feelings, you know it to be true. Dark Side Toys is a store for you! Link below. Oh, right down there, I ask you to please hit that like button. And if you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. And this was a figure that I actually really contemplated on picking up. It's a fun one over here, and I love this body mold. Really like the packaging over here. Very cool with that transition. And then right here, we get another Compound Hulk image as well as on the back right over there with the McGinnis artwork. We have Impossible Man over there. You can see a read-up over here. If you want to read it, go ahead and pause it right now. And then you can see the Compound Hulk on this side, and then you get a Compound Pound Hulk logo on the top. Not much more at the bottom, so let's get to it and crack this thing open. <laughs> And here's a compound Hulk out of the packaging, a Hulk figure repainted and with the same accessories. So not really a lot to talk about the accessories, but I'm happy we get a set of fisted hands and the wide open hands right over here. Uh, the hinges are slightly different in color, a little bit lighter with the green right here on the hinge, a little bit darker with the red right over there on that hinge. I will mention though that we don't get the painted fingernails like how we'd gotten on the red Hulk, and you can see just very subtle differences of the red color right over here. Uh, looks like it's a little bit more consistent on the red Hulk, right? That hinge match is just a little bit better. <laughs> Why do we have a compound Hulk? Well, Zemnu wanted to challenge the Hulk and regain his title as Hulk, and he immediately beat the Green Hulk and used his mind control powers. So, Impossible Man stepped in and combined Red Hulk and Green Hulk together to defeat Zemnu. They first fought Cole, which you'll see later with the photos. I used a Gray Hulk, you know, I know that's not the actual Cole, and then he defeated Zemnu after that. So, this head sculpt is the same as the Red Hulk head sculpt. So, same exact thing over there. And I do think the paint applications came out really clean. I do like having a little bit of that dark shading underneath the eye right here. I do feel like this eye sticks out, you know, off to the side a little bit, and it kind of throws me off in some of the poses. I've mentioned this with this head sculpt before that I still feel like the eyes are a little bit too far apart from each other. You have that dark paint application right here under the eye over here on this side too. And the hair sculpt, of course, is the same. Uh, fairly clean paint apps though, and I do like that they're able to keep the shadowing effect with the paint apps throughout on the figure. So I really dig that a lot, especially because it's a fully repainted figure over here. All we have new here is the paint apps, and they're really well done, you know? So that's really cool. I like how it's just going right down the middle right there. Looks very clean. Uh, maybe the tiniest of splotch right over there, but yeah, I, I like the shadowing effect. And we'll do some comparisons with the other Hulks so that we could see how the colors came out. But everything's looking really clean over here. Uh, we don't have painted toenails or anything <laughs> kind of like that. But anyway, we get peg holes at the bottom of the feet. So I'm going to pass on the articulation segment, but I did want to promote Doc Dave Wheeler's live stream. He's doing a 24 hour live stream trying to raise funds for children's cancer research. I will be on the stream tomorrow on Saturday. I highly recommend you check it out. So to measure out this compound Hulk figure, to no surprise, it's standing just a bit over the eight and a half inch mark. For a size comparison, here's our compound Hulk to the McGinnis inspired green Hulk and build the figure red hulk thank you so much to my viewers for hooking me up with both of these and i'm so happy to have them in the collection right now as i've kind of become a hulk completist then here's compound hulk next to our 80 years two pack hulk and we have our target exclusive red hulk and i feel like hasbro did a really good job of keeping the colors fairly consistent throughout all three of these figures i will say though the green on this is a bit lighter than the green right over here for sure a little bit more consistent with the red hulks over here but still just a little tiny variant in color over here. Of course, you can see the paint apps on the pants uh, are just a bit different as well. And then here's Compound Hulk next to the Build-A-Figure Zemnu, and we have the Vintage Collection Gray Hulk. Would you like to see Hasbro redo this with a more pale gray color and a different head sculpt for a coal? Or would you like the black and red coal? Does anybody want a coal? I would like a coal. I mean, I'd really rather have an A-bomb first, but a coal would be pretty sweet. Oh yeah, Weapon H. I'd love to have a Weapon H. And then here's Compound Hulk next to the Toy Biz Fantastic Four, not Marvel Legends Impossible Man. And then here's Compound Hulk next to your average six-inch scale figure. We have the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man, and I'll have a Death of the Big Time Badass Spider-Man video up uh, hopefully sooner than later. So I hope you guys enjoyed my video. If you did, show some love to this channel by hitting that like button, and if you're new here, hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell, and a big 
thanks to all these people that are in a position to support this content via Patreon and take advantage of the perks. If you're interested, check it out. Link in the description below and definitely check out the charity live stream going on Dave Wheeler's channel. I also have that in the description below as well. And this figure, I like it, man. Again, I really like the body mold and I know it's just a repaint and everything. So for me personally, I'm okay buying this again. I really dig it. I still have the same issues that I have with the body mold. You know, I wish the butterfly joints could move forward more. All that stuff is still there, but I knew what I was getting into when I was picking this up and I'm happy I have it. I could put it on my display with Impossible Man or I could put it on there with Zemnu. As short-lived as this particular hulk was in the comics you could still find a spot for it on the display shelf so i think that's cool uh, but i like the figure i think it came out very clean i'm happy with it and at the price point of around 35 to 40 bucks i'm gonna give this compound hulk a sud rating of i love it and I'd like to know what you guys think, so please let me know in the comments section below. If you want to see the latest in Marvel news and a photo gallery of images, you can find it all over at MarvelousNews.com. And if you want to stay in touch with me over on social media, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, and TikTok. And I'll have an Eternals Wave review all in one video going up tomorrow for this Eternals weekend. So stay tuned for that, and I will catch you guys later. Peace! <laughs>